So you saw me get a this and a that. Now let me show you the rest of my cheap art supplies. And by cheap, I mean it really only cost me like a dollar. Ready? So this paper, it's a piece of Bristol board. It's free because I got it from the scrap jar in the school art room. This I got from the school art room. It was free. Jelly rolls are like a dollar. I got this from school. I found this on the floor at school, my pencil. And I found this in a Michael's parking lot. So, those are my cheap art supplies. They may not be cheap for you, but hey, like, I paid a dollar for this whole challenge besides these. So, yeah, and of course a paper towel and some water for the watercolors. Like, it can't get cheaper than free because you found it on the floor, alright? Fight me. I wasn't buying new stuff. I don't really have anything else. Most of my pencils do come from the floor. And if I find a Micron in a Michael's parking lot, it's mine and I'm not sharing it, okay? Ew. Here's my finished line art. I'm sure if you actually knew what you were doing while inking, it would look even better than this does at this point. But now I'm gonna come in with some watercolors. I don't even know what colors these are, so I'm gonna test them out on this piece of paper that I just found right here.
to cheat. This is also from school and I didn't want to use it. But honestly, if all I had was Crayola colored pencils, I would splurge on a Prismacolor white and a Prismacolor black pencil. So, if th this was all I had for years, honestly. The only nice art supplies, like... I only got art supplies worth writing home about in the past year or so. So really, I had Crayola colored pencils and a Prismacolor white and a Prismacolor black. And I, I drew on printer paper, so... I'ma use it, I don't care. I'll make my own rules. Like big 